Hello and welcome to Quarantine Art with Miss Mitchell. Let's talk about magnets. They hold things together like this. Okay, so don't quote me on any of that because I just realized I don't really know that much about magnets. And now you might be wondering, are we going to make magnets today, Miss Mitchell? No, of course not. I just bravely admitted that I don't even understand how they work. But we can make a little cutie that you can attach a magnet to and hang on your fridge. And we can do that using something that you can probably find in your kitchen, which is a jar lid from a food container. Oh, whoa. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. Okay, so first things first, I wanna tell you that if you don't have these little magnets to attach to your creation, that's okay. I'm gonna show you another way that you can hang them and display them. Or if you wanna look on your fridge and see if there's a magnet that you don't care that much about, you can stick your creation right over top of that. And I also can't tell you the exact materials that you're gonna to need today because it's up to your design and what you have around your house. But here's a few suggestions. I have um, some colorful paper here. I have some glitter, an old magazine. You're definitely gonna need scissors and glue. Uh, you'll definitely need the jar lid and maybe some stickers or some colored pencils. It's really up to your creative license. Okay, so you could make your own magnet just using paper or cardboard or something, but the jar lid is kind of nice for a couple reasons. Number one, it's heavy duty, so it feels like it's a real magnet and it can fall off the fridge when you slam the door and it's going to be just fine. And number two, it kind of gives it its own little frame, so it feels like a finished product. So your first step is going to be to trace your jar lid onto a piece of paper. And then this inside piece is going to be what you attach all of your decorations to. And I really haven't figured out a better way to do this other than to draw it, but then of course it's a little bit bigger than your jar lid and you need it to be a little bit smaller. So when I go to cut it out, I just cut inside of my traced line a little bit, about an eighth of an inch to shrink it a little bit. I don't know. I haven't thought of a better way yet. If you can figure it out, please do let me know. All right, once you're finished cutting it out, you can fit it inside your lid and just make sure it fits. But then I like to take it back out and design outside the lid so it's not in my way. And then you can pretty much decorate it however you want. A few ideas would be some pictures or words cut out of your magazine. You could even put a real photograph on here. Um, you can also draw your own little designs and stick them on there. Like I drew this picture of Bun Bun. And then if you like the look of having another piece of paper on the outside, maybe you're using a tiny lid and you want it to look a little bit larger, you can trace your lid onto another piece of paper. And when you trace, you're just gonna draw your shape a little bit outside of the lid. And you get a little bit larger. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job. And then cut that out and glue it onto the back side of your lid. I'm sure you all already have a million wonderful ideas, so I'm going to let you get to it. I'm going to finish up mine here. Okay, and when you're finished designing your magnet, you can either attach your sticky magnet, if you have these, to the back side, nice and easy. Or I told you I'd show you a different way to display them, which is just a piece of string and some tape. And on the back side of your creation, you can just make a little loop of string. and tape it on here and then you can hang it from a nail or a tack wherever you want. Well, there you have it. Thanks for joining me for another day of making. I tried to Google a few facts about magnets to educate myself and one thing that I read was that some breakfast cereal has enough iron in it that it will stick to a magnet. And I only have Raisin Bran, but I tried it and it didn't work. So I don't know, you might wanna try it if you have some other different kind of cereals. Uh, the joke of today is, what did the magnet say to his wife? I'm stuck on you. <laughs> I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you tomorrow.